Hello you guys. I am here with my TBR cart. It is three layers, which you cannot see the bottom layer and it is filled front to back. And then I also have a shelf behind me and quite a few books. I'll have to do a tour or something, but I have hundreds of books that need to be read. Um, physically, um, I do have a Kindle as well. So we are here with the TBR jar picks my August books and this is very weird because I'm pre-filming this actually very early in July. It is the 11th of July but we actually have some traveling coming up. The baby, my husband and I, um, so I decided to add a few prompts to this and um, yeah I think I'm going to only do five for the month of August. My baby is turning one so I and I also have such a big TBR this month that is full of some big reads. Um, and I'm adding some arcs on there as well. So I just want to overflow a lot of the ones on my July TBR. And if you have not seen that video, make sure you guys check out my July TBR to know what I'm, what I read or am reading in July. Um, but I want to carry over the ones that I didn't get to because I'm very excited about those reads. I'm very excited about all of these books that were gifted to me from some of my friends and some of my internet friends. Um, I'm very thankful, but we're using a highlighter to make sure this is super fair because I added some new prompts and we're going to choose five, like I said, um, for the month. And if I do finish every single book in July and all the ones in August, I will mood read. So let's go ahead and choose five books we have not picked our book of the month for august yet so i'll pop that on the screen here um because that is definitely a must um i have a book club on facebook called page turn and bibliophile so make sure you guys join and the first prompt is a book with a map which is one of the ones that i actually added today so let me pull some options and i will be right back Okay, so I did pick out two options. I have a lot of fantasy books and a lot of books that do have maps. So the first one that I have is the Caraval series, um, which I have not started, surprisingly. Um, this, I've heard amazing things about this series. So that's an option. And then I have the duology um, fable and I think the other one's namesake. Uh, this is a YA book. I don't know if they're both YA. Um, so let me think. So this one has to do with I honestly think I should go ahead and knock out this series to be honest and it's only two books. And so I'm just going to read a little bit of the back of the book. Welcome to a world made dangerous by the sea and by those who wish to profit from it, where a young girl must find her place and her family while trying to survive in a world built for men. As the daughter of the most powerful trader in the Narrows, the sea is the only home 17-year-old Fable has ever known. It's been four years since the night she watched her mother drown during an unforgiving storm. The next day, her father abandoned her on a legendary island filled with thieves and little food. To survive, she must keep to herself, learn to trust no one, and rely on the unique skills her mother taught her. The only thing that keeps her going is the goal of getting off the island, finding her father, and demanding her rightful place beside him and his crew. To do this so, to do so, Fable enlists the help of a young trader named West to get her off the island and across the Narrows to her father. But her father's rivalries and the dangers of his trading enterprise have only multiplied since she she saw him last, and Fable soon finds that West isn't who he seems. Together, they will have to survive more than the treacherous storms that haunt the Narrows if they're going to stay alive. So it says that Fable takes you on a spectacular journey filled with romance, intrigue, and adventure, and I think this will be kind of a different read for me. Um, and it is hard, like, starting a new series, but this is only a duology. I know that if I sign up for this, it's almost like the Akatar series. I have to read this series and the Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I might hold off on this one for at least another couple months. And let's just put this right here. So our first pick is Fable for a book with a map. And did I even show you guys the map? Probably not. So here is the map with the narrows and all that. So hopefully it's not, there you go. Okay, so second pick, I'm gonna start with my handy dandy highlighter and something just flew at me. So I guess that is the pick. A nonfiction book. So this is gonna be fun. Nonfiction. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do it. I got this from someone last month and I love Jodie Benson. I'm a former Disney cast member and this is actually autographed by Jodie herself, Jodie Benson. This is called Part of My World. Um, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, my channel used to be called Brianna Gilmore, Part of My World. I am a big aerial person. So 
this is just about her life and what she's learned from the little mermaid and i feel like this will be such a fun read i think there's even pictures in this book yeah like pictures of her i have a musical theater background and i just i think this will be very nice um uh how many pages is this less than 300 so this will be a fun little read i might take this traveling as well so i think this will be fun so part of my world by jody benson okay book number three an even number of pages so this will be kind of fun to do because i can actually choose a book that i have been wanting to read um so this will be interesting This is very difficult to be honest. I have a fantasy, a nonfiction. I'll probably, I don't know what our vote is gonna be next month for, huh. I don't wanna be too many of the same genres here. Let's see. Even number of pages. Even number of pages. I don't want to be too heavy of a read either. I'm also trying not to find a book that is too long as well because I really want to read this one. So I really, of course, 305, which is odd. I'm trying to find a romance. So it's an excerpt from the second book. Acknowledgements. Odd. Odd number of pages for this one, too. I'm going to read this one. Man, this is so difficult sometimes. Odd. This is on my TBR for check and mate. Let's see if this is even. This is even. Nope, that's the author's note. Goodness. Let's see. This is YA as well, so this is odd as well. So much better read still eating. So much better read this book. This has the excerpt from. Wait, I'm so confused. Prologue. So it's between Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman and Mr. Wrong Number. And I honestly think I'm going to read Still Beating because everyone is talking about this book. Everyone is. And I think it only has like 308 pages, 308 pages, which is such an easy read. I think this one actually has more than that. Yeah, this one has like 40 more pages than that. So we are going to read Still Beating as our even pages because I told someone that I would move it up my TBR even though I need to finish the Akatar series, um, but we're just gonna read this. Um, and I believe this is a romance. When Cora Lawson attends her sister's birthday party, she expects at most a hangover or a walk of shame by the end of it. She doesn't anticipate a stolen wallet leaving her stranded and dependent on her sister's fiance, Dean Asher, her arch nemesis and perpetual thorn in her side. And she really doesn't anticipate getting knocked out and waking up chained in a madman's basement, Dean in his own shackles beside her. I'm not gonna read the rest of that, but that kind of gives you a gist hold up that's crazy so i'm actually going to choose three more books because there is a series that i just thought of that is so hyped about that i really would love to start uh, in august and i might actually do a reading vlog on it so let's see if we can find it an odd number of pages what are the odds that i would actually get this okay so i will be right back let me go grab these books that i want to read and see if they qualify for this and if you're curious on the series I need to read, it's this one. Let's see. This is the series that I need to read. And I have not read it. So, let's see how many pages. It's a big book, but let's see if it's an odd number of pages. <clears throat> Do I count the last section? We're going to see. It doesn't actually have page numbers on those. So it is an odd number of pages. So we are gonna finally tackle Powerless in the month of August. Um, I think she actually has a fourth book coming out next year. Um, and I need to read these two as well. So I might try to fit them into the prompts. Um, 
and do a reading vlog. But if you guys wanted to see what these actually look like, I've heard actually that the Barnes ones don't go along with, they don't have like matching uh, spines. So I should have actually used one of those for the map because I'm sure they have a map in the front. Let me actually check that real quick. I'm sure there's a map in the front. There's a map. There is a map. So, but it's okay. It is okay. I'm reading a couple of YA books. So let's go ahead and pick one more book. Um, it'll probably take me a month of vlogging to do that readathon. Continue a series. Y'all, this is crazy. Continue a series. So I can either, um, I can either um, <clears throat> do powerful, I can pull an S uh, Sarah J Mouse book. I can do, I have so many series. I think everyone does. Um, but I honestly think I'm gonna just add powerful. And if I have time, I'll read Reckless. I've heard people have read Reckless in less than 24 hours. So this will be my second, wait, what? What am I saying? This will be my fifth pick. So, and I just broke a nail, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. So that being said, I feel like I need to pull one more prompt because that is five books, but I want to have the chance to fairly pick Reckless. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. I forgot to use the highlighter. Here we go. Book with flowers on the cover. Flowers on the cover. And does this count? It's rose petals or petals or flowers. I think I'm actually going to count that because that gives me a video to do. That gives me a series to knock out in a whole month which I cannot do that with the Akatar series. These books actually seem doable. Um, so I think we picked our six books. I will probably read seven. Like I said, I have our book club pick, but let's go ahead and recap. So Powerless, do I need to go over the synopsis? I feel like everyone has read this except for me. But um, in the, on the front, it says hunted hunter destined for each other. I think this is like a, um, I honestly should just go in blind, to be honest. There's the ordinary and the elite. This is powerless, powerful, reckless. I think the fourth one's gonna be called flawless. If that's wrong, I will not, um, if it's wrong, I'll put the correct name on the screen. We have still beating. We have our nonfiction. And then we have our book with the map fable. So what are you guys reading in the month of August? Um, this is just so exciting. What are you guys reading? I want to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to see a readathon with the powerless series, just comment that down below because I think it's going to happen this month. So I hope to see you guys real soon and bye.